Hello everyone, in previous video we saw how to create a subscription plan and how subscription plan works in ERP Next. Now in this video we will see how to create a subscription based on those plans and understand it further how it works in ERP Next. Alright, so let's begin. Now consider this particular scenario. Let's say that you want to buy one of the subscription plan over here. Let's say you're buying the basic plan. Now you, you'll have to pay this particular amount, then only you'll get a subscription. So also remember that whenever you pay for something, you, you, you get an invoice, right? So subscription will consist of an invoice, which is the important aspect of it. And we also have a subscription start date as well as a subscription end date. So if I'm buying the subscription today, the subscription start date will automatically st be from today. And the end date will depend upon the interval, basically a billing interval, like how are we billing our customer so remember that sales and voice subscription start date and subscription end date these are the three important things to consider when you are creating a subscription all right now next thing is that you need to remember that in erp next sales invoice is auto generated now since we saw in the previous slide that sales invoice is the important part of subscription now what happens is in ERP next sales invoice is auto generated basically it can be generated at the beginning when the subscription is started or at the end when the subscription have is completed so it depends upon your requirement whether you want the invoice to be generated in the beginning or at the end of the subscription all right so let's go ahead and create a new subscription and understand how it works so right now I'm in the accounting module over here. If you see, we have subscription management. So in previous video, we created four different plans. I'll just quickly show you once again. So we created this one. We created Spotify premium yearly plan and we created two Netflix plans. One was 199, one was for 499. Both of them were monthly. And we also created a daily plan, basically a plan based on a daily interval. All right. So I'll go to the subscription and I'll click on add subscription and uh, we will see one by one what all happens like what what are all these things over here okay so I'll click on party type we have customer and we have supplier so I'll select customer now here as you can see that subscription can be created for both customer as well as for supplier also so now I'll select the customer and from here I'll select the name of a customer consider that I'll select this particular customer over here now we can enter, we need to enter the subscription start date. So I'll say that, okay, I'll start a subscription from today. Um, also, we will create a subscription for Spotify. Okay. So I'll enter a subscription plan over here as Spotify. And here I'll enter the quantity as one. So we, you can add as many quantity as you want. So in invoice, the whatever the quantity is like based on that the amount will be calculated like total amount will be calculated all right next thing over here is subscription end date now since it is a yearly plan we should add this we can we should add it like uh, i'll say 2022 all right so that basically this subscription will be ending in the year 2022 now if even if you don't add the subscription end date right so it will still consider that okay this particular subscription is ending next year on the whenever the subscription start date will be exactly one year later it will end okay now here we have days until due so if i consider that i am adding three over here okay now the subscription i have started a subscription for a customer and if like this particular customer does not pay within after within three days so what will happen is this subscription status will change okay we'll come back to it again in some time now i've added days until due as three and uh, i'll select this option over here that is generate invoice at the beginning of the period like i told you in like few minutes back that invoice can be either generated at the beginning or it can be generated at the end now i want that it should be generated in the, in the beginning so i'll say okay generate invoice at the beginning of the period and all these fields will come back to it okay so i have added plan over here now taxes we can also add the sales taxes and charges template over here now one thing to remember that the temp templates are not automatically applied in subscription okay so you need to add them manually 
next is discount so whatever i'm um, discount you add like let's say i say okay on grand total i want five percent of discount so whatever amount is mentioned here that particular discount will be seen in the sales invoice so these are all the fields i hope i was clear i'll come back to it all this again okay so let's save it okay so now we have created subscription now here if you see the invoice end date is 27th of October 2022 so like it is it has automatically considered that depending upon the interval for which the plan have been applied all right so here if you see we have this section that is invoice now like after you save this particular subscription you get this particular section so now in order to get invoices over here you need to click on this button that is fetch subscription updates so now you'll get an invoice now let's just take a look at the invoice like what all is there inside that invoice so we'll see that this was the total amount right 939 was the total amount now we have applied the discount over here right so that particular discount amount was added over here and here at the bottom of this sales invoice if you click on this subscription section you will see the subscription start date and the end date so this particular start date and end date is same as this one this invoice start date and invoice end date now invoice start date and invoice end date it's just representing one interval of a subscription i hope i'm making sense and it's not too confusing but yeah all right so we saw this and also this particular option that is submit invoice automatically now when you click on this the invoice will be submitted like we saw over here right if i show you this particular you see that this invoice has been submitted auto submitted now if you uncheck this option what will happen is the invoice won't be submitted so when i'll create another subscription now right i'll i'll make sure that i'll uncheck this option so that we can see the live example okay so this was all the a uh, very basic about how subscription works in ERP next now also consider a scenario where you want that okay I want that after like this particular customer if he or she she if she doesn't pay after three days I want that this subscription should be cancelled automatically so in order to do that you need to go to the subscription settings and here you need to set a grace period okay whatever the grace period will be after that period if you select on this particular checkbox so what will happen is the subscription will be cancelled automatically so that was about it all right so this was all about subscription now let's see what else is there now since we saw that sales invoice is auto generated like you don't have to go ahead and uh, create it separately now even if you don't click on this button like even if you don't click on this fetch subscription update after a few minute or a few hour the subscription the invoice will automatically be created over here so yeah all right let's go ahead okay there is a trial period option also there so you, we all know how trial period works right like we just to know how the product works we get a trial period for anything without paying for it so let's go ahead and we'll create a trial period i'll go and create trial period for netflix okay for the netflix plan that we created before i'll create it for the same customer and instead of subscription start date and end date i'll go ahead and directly enter this trial period start date and trial period end date let's say we just want to give a four day trial and that's all i'll just enter a plan over here and i'll say quantity as one and just save it now here if you even if you click on this generate invoice at the beginning of the period and if you say that okay fetch subscription update you won't get it like it's obvious it's in the trialing period invoice won't be generated in trial period okay so this was about the trial period all right now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll see what all these different fields mean so I'll go ahead and I'll create another subscription now. So now we will create a new subscription. This time I'll select customer, the same customer. And also we will create a subscription for a Netflix plan. Okay. I'll select a start date as today. 
and I'll say the end date to be exactly after a month that is 29th and okay for now what I'll do is I won't select this option that is generate invoice at the beginning of the period so we'll see what happens when we do it and I'll say the quantity as one and I'll save it so now because we have not checked this particular option we won't be getting invoice at the beginning no matter what like if I select on this pet subscription update I won't be getting invoice basically the invoice will be generated on this particular date when the subscription will be ending that is 29th of November so that's what it is now let's understand what this follow calendar months means so follow calendar month is like for example consider that your invoice start date is 15th of June so here let's say that this is the invoice start date right invoice start date is usually the same as subscription start date so here invoice start date is consider that it is 15th of June and since it is a monthly subscription the invoice end date would be exactly after a month that is it would be 15th of July now if we select this option that is okay we want that it should follow calendar months so the invoice end date would be the end of the month that is it would be 30th of June instead of being 15th of July so that's what this follow calendar months does I hope I was clear this is the example I have written over here like if invoice start date is 15 and it's a monthly subscription the invoice end date ideally it should be 15th of July right but then because of this option follow calendar month it would be 30th of June basically the end of the month all right so next we have is this one that is generate new invoice past due date now to understand this option we will create a new subscription again and we will understand it that way so I'll go and I'll say add subscription and okay this time the we will select the Airtel plan that we created let me show you that plan So here if you see it, the billing interval is day and the billing interval count is day basically every day there will be one invoice generated okay so now I'll say that subscription start date is from today and subscription end date is let's say 1st of November so each day that basically on 29 30 31st first for all these four days we will get four invoices that's the that's how it will work now I'll say that generate invoice at the beginning of period and I'll save it now okay we also have to add quantity all right so now what will happen is I'll select on fed subscription update so ideally the way it works is that unless and until this invoice is paid by a customer so the new invoice won't be generated like this invoice should be paid like if I'll go and show you this particular invoice so if you see this is unpaid right so as soon as I pay for this particular invoice a new invoice will be generated a new invoice for another day will be generated using this subscription but what happens is because we have not selected this option over here it won't create a new invoice like that's the correct way right like unless we unless a customer pays for that particular invoice we won't generate a new one now if you want that okay the invoices should be generated even if the customer is not paying then you can just select on this option that is generate new invoice past due date and it will be generated it will keep on generating the invoice so that's how it is that's how the generate new invoice past due date works okay next we have is cancel at the end of a period so now let me explain you what happens when a subscription is completed so let's say this is ending on 1st of November 2021 now if a customer pays all the invoices properly then what happens is the subscription status will change from active to completed basically we are saying that okay the subscription is now done now if I select that okay cancel at the end of the period now instead of completed the subscription will change to cancel now let me show you an example of completed subscription yeah so this one is a completed subscription right so here if I would have select if I would select cancel at the end of a period and I'll say save so now in some time what will happen is from completed this status will change to cancelled 
basically we're saying that this subscription is now cancelled we won't track it or do anything about it so that's what the cancel at the end of a period does now next is generate invoice at the beginning of the period we have seen this option a lot of time so i will skip this for now all right now let's understand what does each subscription status mean we have this all as a status of the subscription now as we know active is the any subscription which is currently active or like this one this is the example of active subscription that the one that we created just now next one is unpaid and past due date so both of these are when and when an invoice is unpaid and like basically the invoice past due date is gone so that's when the subscription status changes to unpaid i'll show you the example this one is the example of unpaid subscription now next one is completed so completed is when the subscription end date has gone and the invoices like customer have paid for all the invoices properly so then we can say that okay subscription is completed now this is the example of a completed subscription okay next is a cancelled subscription so cancelled subscription when when a subscription is cancelled as i told you the subscription will no longer be monitored over here if you see this is a cancelled subscription so there there won't be any status change or anything so usually what happens is each hour the subscription changes like the status of subscription changes depending upon what depending upon the like the invoice is paid or not if the invoice is not generated then it is also created basically all right so that was about each status in the subscription now let's say you want to cancel um an ongoing subscription so how will you do that so i'll go now, now let's say this is the active subscription right and i i will say that okay i want to cancel this subscription so i will just go and select as cancelled now when you cancel a subscription all the previous records will like all the all the future invoices won't be generated so i'll say this one now this this is cancelled basically there won't be any change in status or anything so there are two ways to cancel a subscription one is you can directly go and click on this button cancel subscription then it will be cancelled or you can select on this option that is cancel at the end of the period so then then also the subscription will be cancelled all right next is restart a subscription now consider that you want you have cancelled a certain subscription and you now want to restart a subscription so you'll just go and select restart subscription so now what happens is whenever you are restarting a subscription all the previous invoices like this one like these all let's say yeah we have this invoice right it will all go and also when you are restarting a subscription this subscription start date will be from today so i'll say that okay you will lose let's restart and see what happens so now if you see the this invoice is, is gone and uh, the subscription start date is now today so that's how it all works let us about it i hope you understood the video and thank you so much for watching